All right, this is for Johnny. We've got some, let's see if I remember what year this stuff is. 2015 Panini Americana. And yeah, you can hit some. I know, I'm teasing you. All right, here we go. Yep. Good stuff. Yeah, I wish I had some top scrum. So there's a red parallel that's real nice in this. And then a base set. And then there's like a gold parallel too. So I'll pull all the parallels and stuff out as we go. That's worth hanging on to. So the base cards make up a pretty nice set. And then they've got all these cool inserts. Winner's Circle, Gary Stevens. You can hit short prints of all those that are foiled. Pretty nice stuff. Now the foils are much better. There's Hope Solo. So the autographs and stuff are rare in the retail, but you do get, uh, you will get something in every box. There are autographs, there are uh, patch cards too. And Steven Shapiro on the tube. Or Dern, Rev Run, Lee Michelle. I wish they still did this stuff every year. I think 2015 or 16 was the last year they did this, and they haven't done it since. And I liked all this stuff. Latoya Jackson. All right, here's the first parallel. See, the reds are just so much nicer than the others. Cooper, Manning. Just fun stuff. And, of course, you get your blank card, so you can't pick stuff out. Since it's retail. Oh, there's a nice one. Robert Mitchum and Jimmy Stewart. Screen legends. There are gold parallels to those also. Josh McKinley, Vanilla Ice, Wonder if he's still rehabbing houses in Florida. Brooke Hogan. There you go. Entertainer. Steve Bauer. Go through them just so you can see what the base cards look like. These last boxes, we'll go through them a little quicker. But I like everybody to see what's going on anyway. Joan Collins. Joan Collins is a good autograph to get if you get one. You can get Sylvester Stallone in these. There's a bunch of different ones. Roger Moore's got autos in this. Common. Stallone. All right, Kentucky Derby winner, Dwayne Lucas. There's one of the foil parallels. Or Dern. Like I said, you'll end up getting a set out of every box, and then by the time you get several extra ones, you can pull more. <laughs> Al Pacino. Hey, I keep getting Bobby Bradley and everything, and, and Isan Diaz, so I hear you all for it. You're better off just buying the cards you want. You do realize that, especially at the price everything is now. Ollie Reisman. There you go. Three or four-time gold medal winner. Holly Ringwald.
a parallel in this one. Tony Circo. He passed away since this. There's a there's the parallel. Adriana Partridge on the tube. Insert. No such thing as a cheap box. They're all overpriced right now, dude. Cheap would be 110. That's what they're supposed to be. Not 220. There's the four winner circle combo. What year? This year? That's a steal. Paula Abdul, straight up, certified single. Vince Neal, Hulk Hogan, Coolio. There's half of one. James Earl Jones, Mr. Darth Vader's voice himself. Latoya Jackson. There you go. <laughs> Joe. Yeah, we got one down here somewhere. Gabriella Reese. Josie Davis. Kevin Hart. Oh, nice. Jimmy Stewart refractor on the tube. That's the parallel. Nice card. Ollie Leiter. Roger Moore. Stallone. Right, and you get Mickey Rourke. Star Materials, Mickey Rourke, the actor. Probably part of that suit he's wearing. Looks pretty nice and plush. Common the Entertainer, DJ Cool. Daryl McDaniels, Red Parallel, Bismarcky, Laura Papon on the tube parallel. Circo. Winner circle. Combos. Daphne Oz, Terrence Jenkins. Simply Deep, certified album for Kerry Rowland. There's like two or three of these guys that have already died. 
Five Roberts base in one box? Dang. Man, we hit three and four boxes and that was it. And retail's been horrible. Corbin Bernson. Jane Mansfield. There you go. The original Marilyn Monroe. Retail's been really tough. Uh, they probably seeded them that way on purpose. James Earl Jones on the tube. Julio Gonzalez, actor. Actress, actually. So she is an actor. She is literally an actress. And Betty Davis, screen legend. Box one. All right, Johnny. You just want me to go through pull the insert and stuff, or you want to see them all? I mean, I'll open them all for sure, but just go through and pull the insert out. Cooper, Mickey Rourke, gotcha, yeah, not one in that one. Interesting. Okay. Probably got two and another one. Winner's Circle. Craig Delays. Mike Smith. Parallel. Cool. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Martin Short on the tube. It's just a fun product. Yeah, I can't see paying 90 bucks a box for this stuff, but, you know, 30 bucks makes it fun. I just thought this red set would be a fun one to have just to, you know, put out on the coffee table. People come over to look through things. Beautiful, beautiful cards. Mickey Rooney and Jimmy Stewart screen legend duel. Hulk Hogan parallel on the tube.
Winner's circle, number two. Combos, Mike Smith and Todd Pletcher. Winner's circle, parallel. Certified single, Mac Light. Keep on, keep on. Obviously, this is from after my time of listening to music. <laughs> no, not this year. It's too expensive. We haven't been able to find enough of it to even build a set. Nice parallel. Hope Solo. Goalkeeper for the U.S. Women's Soccer Team. Not even going to try. Jane Russell parallel on the tube. Well, let's see what we got here. That's not too bad. Latoya Jackson. Could have had an auto on it. That would have been nicer. Rose McGowan. <laughs> yes, there is. There will always be hope. John McGinley on the tube. You'd be surprised. I have people every once in a while call me up looking for uh, singles and stuff of this. Sold a bunch of it over the years. Haven't seen a case of this in a long time, though. Got this one about two years ago. Winner's Circle, Day and Loomis. Nice part about this one, there weren't any redemptions. So if you do ever find sealed cases of it, you don't have to worry about not getting your autos and stuff. Paula Abdul, Forever Your Girl certified album. Lillian Gish. There's one a little old. She'd be about 120 now. Lillian Gish, she was a famous silent actress. Gabriella Reese. Isn't she the one that got in trouble for buying her kids into college? Is that one of them? Can't remember. Ah, and the dreaded Biz Markey. I'll never forget that episode of uh, uh, Storage Wars where they found all his clothing. <laughs> I guess foreclosure or something. That was pretty funny. And, oh, Bella Lugosi, screen legend. Bella Lugosi. Yeah, box two. Cheap entertainment, guys. Cheap entertainment. Who knows? You might strike something huge.
Shannon and Elizabeth. We'll say Panini does nice foil cards. I mean, they're nice and smooth when you look at them. They don't have a lot of extra on them. Unlike some of the tops ones. Hmm. Bob Baffert. Three-time Kentucky Derby winner parallel. Cards. Cody Simpson. Musician. Okay. Oh, that's why I don't know who he is. He knows Justin Bieber. I don't. Uh, every once in a while you'll find a numbered card, but very rarely in the retail. The hobby stuff would have numbered in them, but they were very few and rare in this. I've seen a few. That's why it's so cheap. If you can ever find any of the hobby boxes, you'll get a couple out of those, the out of 99s. And, but, man, I haven't seen a box of that in several years. Sometimes the uh, patch cards will be numbered, stuff like that. Winner's Circle Gold. Uh, the retail has the, the gold parallel is different on the inserts. And then the red cards are different. Paula Abdul. Dwayne Lucas. Julie Gonzalo. There you go, Al Pacino. That's not bad. Legend. Alex Snap. Jimmy Stewart on the tube. Lillian Gish, another parallel.
Calvin Burrell, three-time winner. Oh, bang, there we go. That one's numbered 13 and 99. That's the first auto I've seen on those. Calvin Burrell, three-time Kentucky Derby winner auto. Bang. There you go. These guys are actually fairly hard to get their autos on things, so it might be worth something. Sweet. Very nice. Cool. Definitely wasn't expecting that. Let's see. Winner's Circle Signature Gold, numbered to 99 or less. See, they don't put odds on them. They just say, you know, approximately one in every other pack. <laughs> That's cool. Rutina Wesley. That's presented nicely, too. It's a good-looking card. Katrina Bowden refractor. Thank goodness. Number seven on the winner's circle. Combos. Gary Stevens and Dwayne Lucas. I think there's like five or six guys that like own all the horses now. You know, the big, big stables, I have three or four horses in every race. Coolio, Gangsta Paradise, certified single. Hulk Hogan on the tube. I think you got both versions. Nick Cannon parallel. 73 card set. So it's not impossible to build these red sets. <laughs> Tony Orlando. Oh my gosh. There we go. Robert Mitchum and Ava Gardner. God, they made some good movies. I miss those. All right. Auto instead of material card. Very good. All right. Box number four. Kevin Hart. Nice. Is that from uh, China? How long is it going to take him to get here? That's the hard part is getting them here. All the BCW and Ultra Pro stuff from over there is all sitting on containers on docks. Uh-huh. 
Don't hold them to it. Winner's Circle, Jerry Bailey foil. That is a good price, though. Yeah, at the show this last weekend, there was a couple of cases there, and they were over 100. So there's a Stallone parallel. There you go. That's one of the keys. Now we just need one of those with an autograph on it. Kelly Rowland on the tube. Fortunately, Panini still has the checklist on the website. You can pull it up. See who I autographed and so forth. Jaleel White. White Whale, how's it going, man? Welcome to the room. Screen Legends, Dorothy Lamar and Jimmy Stewart combo. On the two, Katrina Bowden. Winner circle number four. Gold parallel. I've seen two, three, four, and five, and seven of those so far in the parallels. Make light. Keep on keeping on. J. Jazzy Jeff. <laughs> Love the names. Another foil. All right. I think we got something here. Let's see what we got here. Oh, nice. Jane Russell. Jane Russell is a trademark of the estate of Jane Russell. Very nice. Cool. Star material. Jane Russell. The enclosed celebrity worn material is guaranteed by Panini America. So that was actually part of one of her dresses. Pretty cool. Urkel? <laughs> that would be fun. Um, in the 2013 Americana, I hit one of the uh, uh, Dick Van Dyke autos. That will be in my collection forever. I love that stuff. Any of the old celebrity ones. So cool. There's uh, in Allen and Ginner this year in baseball. Uh, they've got a cut auto of. Uh, um, oh, shoot. Man, right on the tip of my tongue. Oh, hell. Now I can't remember. I hate getting old. Uh, it's not Dean Martin. It's the other guy. Anyway, I want that card. Not John Candy. Good grief. Old, old guy. The 
not Sammy Davis, the white guy. <laughs> oh, man, that's terrible. Cannot remember his name. Nope, can't have Van Dyke. Took me forever to find one. Winter Circle. Frank Sinatra. Thank you. Thank you, Merv. Frank Sinatra has got a cut 101 and archives this year. That would be a fantastic card to hit. Biz Markey. The Biz Never Sleeps. John Candy. Somebody I don't think John Candy was ever uh, partnered up with Dean Martin. Jane Mansfield. And Hulk Hogan. One more box after this. One more shot at infor, uh, immortality. MC Light. Surprisingly enough, I have heard of some of these guys and gals. And Ingrid Bergman. Screen Legend Single. All right, last box. Thank you very much, sir. All right, here we go. Quite a stack of inserts there. Terrence Jenkins. There we go. Yeah, I haven't seen too many dupes on these uh, foil cards, so you ought to be good way on the set. That's one of the empty ones. Bradford. Pat Day. Foil. 1992 Kentucky Derby winner. Pat Day. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, send me, send me a list of the numbers. Stuff, I may have a few. John C. McGinley. Oh, that's, that guy was funny. Man, he played some good parts. Toya Jackson. Number nine, Jerry Bailey and Calvin, Calvin Burrell. Winner circle combo. Yep. Julio, Gangster Paradise. Jaleel White, Refractor. Foil, whatever. <laughs> da 
Daphne Oz. Ingrid Bergman, Screen Legend. All right, last half. Then I can answer my messages. Oh, good. Molly Ringwald. There's another one of the tough ones. Mickey Rooney. <laughs> yeah, I remember as a kid watching Little Rascals with him on it. Craziness. Lana Turner Refractor. Joe Mangelio. Oh, cool. Another auto. There you go. Fantastic. This last few boxes were good. Joe Mangiello. Got a nice auto and he kept it on the damn sticker. Didn't smear it. That looks really nice. Very good. Two autos out of five boxes out of retail. That's good. Awesome. Very nice. <laughs> That's fun. Those boxes have been sitting up there for five months. Steve Sharifa. I think he just recently died. Had a heart attack or something. Doncia McKellar. Just the base one. Yep, I wasn't bad. So a 20 box retail case of that, if you ever find it, that was the fifth and sixth auto in that case. So no, not too bad. Number two, Mike Smith and Todd Pletcher. Few packs left here. Make light. Paula Abdul, the parallel. Ah, nice vanilla ice. There you go. Talk about a versatile person. <laughs> Gene Tierney and Ginger Rogers. There you go. Ginger Rogers, man. Dang gum. All right, and that does it. Two autos. A Calvin Burrell, three-time Kentucky Derby winner, gold out of 99. And a, and a Joe Mangiello, 
auto on the red, which were uh, retail autographs on the red. So then we got a Jane Mansfield relic, which is an authentic piece of hers. Latoya Jackson. Doesn't look like that one has anything that will malfunction. Celebrity worn material, so it's real. And Mickey Rourke. Mickey Rourke. And there we go. Thank you, sir. Now, question. Do you want all the base, or do you want me to send you a set with all the base? Either way, it doesn't matter to me. You'll have about 10 sets. Okay, sounds good. I'll pack it all up. It'll be on its way to you in the morning. Thank you, sir. Good luck. Like I said, let me know on inserts in the reds what you need, and I'll see if I have it to finish. Very good. Thank you, sir. Hey, you never know. This stuff sells really well at, like, uh, Christmas markets and junk like that. My, uh, my son's Girlfriend used to set up and sell uh, kids clothing. So I'd throw a few of those sets on the table and put 20 bucks on them and people would buy them for Christmas presents. That's just kind of weird way of doing it, but that works. All right, man, we'll get them all shipped out to you. Appreciate it. was kind of fun. I haven't broken any of the non-sports stuff in a while. That was definitely different. Remember why I like doing this stuff. Basically, Allen and Ginner is just another version of this. It's got just, you know, about a third of the set is entertainers and other fun stuff. This set's going to be really good this year, too. A lot of cool stuff. All right. Appreciate the break and appreciate the business, sir. Sleeve these guys up. Those big ones. There we go. Especially that Latoya. That should be good. One, two, three. Those look like 108s. Alright guys, so how's everybody else doing now? <laughs> that was kind of neat. Thank you again, Johnny. Good luck in your endeavors. I'll keep my eyes open for stuff like this. Check back every once in a while. I might have something. You never know. Uh, the hobby stuff is always a little more expensive. It'll be around 49 to 50 bucks on boxes that have, you know, the guaranteed autos and all that stuff. Retail, we can usually pick it up pretty reasonable, though, so. 
couple of years ago, I got a case of Beach Boys, and uh, it actually had four autos in there. We got four of the five guys. Auto. The only one I think we missed was Kevin Love, but we got everybody else. That was pretty cool. All righty, should be able to throw that in the medium, and we'll be good. All right, so Man Mangelio and Calvin Burrell, very good. I have no idea what these things will go for. Thanks again, sir. All right, let's see here. What do we got? Oh, he just did it for one. <laughs> okay. Robert out of 150. Very nice. All right, so he paid for half, and I'm fine with that. So he goes for the second one. That's fine. I got that written down. Good with that. <coughs> All right, guys. It is 9-11 on a Monday night. And I think I'm done for the evening. I think this is a good time to go. All right, guys. We'll be back on tomorrow to about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, maybe 3. I'm going to go out and do a little look in tomorrow and see what's coming. See if anything comes out. Sometimes the Walmarts here, or Targets here, get them a little bit early. So I'm going to do my check in the morning and afternoon and see what happens. And uh, we'll see you all tomorrow. Be on around 3 o'clock tomorrow. Y'all have a good one. Thank you.